Hey everybody, it's Dennis. I'm here to show you my favorite free antivirus, and that is uh, Sophos Home Edition. Uh, Sophos Home Edition is not like any other antivirus. It actually gives you some features that I find to be pretty cool. Without further ado, let's use everybody's favorite web browser, Internet Explorer, and uh, go check it out. Website you're looking for is home.sophos.com. And once you arrive there, uh, you can sign in up in the top right. But of course, you probably don't have an account, so you click on Need to Create an Account. Uh, for me, I'm just going to sign in. And I'm going to wait. And I'm going to continue waiting. Alright, now that we're finally here, this is the dashboard to your Sophos home environment. Um, as you can see here, uh, the computer that I'm using is called Nathan-Acer. And this other computer right here is my girlfriend's parents' desktop. Um, the reason why I can see that desktop on here is because Sophos Home Edition allows you to add 10 devices on one email address and those 10 devices uh, you can remotely um, change settings, do scans, uh, get rid of viruses, malware, anything like that. I find that to be very, very helpful because instead of having to go all the way over to somebody's house to fix something you can do it right here from the comfort of your own home uh, I'm gonna go to my girlfriend's parents uh, desktop and show you guys around what you can do uh, so right here um, is where you can see the status of your device there's the antivirus protection web filtering Web filtering is the main thing that uh, Sophos does that nobody else does. Or at least if they do, it's not nearly as user friendly. As you can see right here, here's the list of things that Sophos will block. There's just general category, there's social networking, and adult and inappropriate uh, websites. Um, it gives you three categories. You can either allow it, you can either warn the user if they're about ready to enter a website that is flagged as one of these categories, or you can just block it all together. Um, they didn't specifically ask for me to filter anything, uh, which is fine. I mean, their kids are pretty good. Uh, so I don't have anything blocked or warned or anything, but show you how simple it'd be all you have to do is just click it over and there you go everything's blocked for those uh specific websites uh and right here you can add exceptions um so as you can see right here i got facebook.com from a previous example i tried earlier let's add uh, espn.com it's as simple as typing it in and hitting the enter button and it adds it to a list of websites that are in the exceptions list so if their category is blocked it really doesn't matter you can still access them anyways that's a pretty cool feature I think and so far as antivirus uh, that's just where you select to have it on or off all the time uh, it, does, it blocks malware too which is a big one everybody wants that and uh, the other one is file and folder exceptions. What that does is when you plug a flash drive into your machine or external hard drive, uh, Sophos will tap you on the shoulder repeatedly forever until you do something with it. And right here you can type in the name of that drive and add it to an exceptions list so it's not that annoying child. Anyways, that concludes my uh, introduction to Sophos. I hope you guys all enjoyed this little tutorial, and I advise everybody to get it. Goodbye.